Good morning, boys and girls. Today, we're going to talk about how to retire early and still live rich. That's right. Drink your Starbucks, have your best cable package, have all of that stuff. Now, there is a little wrinkle to this, and we'll get to that later, because who wants to do this? And th this is one of my things, because you see a lot of people how to retire early. I put that on my board. Who speak of retirement and not living. I see it all over the internet. I see everyone talking about it. Hey, I want to retire early, so I'm going to peel my toilet tissue in half. I'm going to do all this kind of crazy stuff, right? There is a better way. All right. So hold on a second. Hey, this is Glendon Cameron, founder of HustlersKungFu.com, the launch pad for wealth through business development and entrepreneurship and hustling. That's what we do here. Be sure to subscribe if you're looking to start a business, learn about hustles, and stay tuned to the end because I'm going to have some special stuff for you about Hustle Camp. Now, I'm going to tell you my story, which is a good story, I think. It helped me get to where I'm at, and some of you may find benefit. All right. First thing is, I will say that I retired early, and then I came back because, like I said, I'm only 50 years old. Sitting around doing nothing is not the way that I want to live my life. Now, how did I do that? 1999. I was homeless, 1999, like Prince, 1999. I was homeless. I was living in a boarding house. So from 2000 to 2010-ish, about a decade, I was able to start something, get to the point where I could retire early for three years. And then for me, just for me, sitting around, not doing anything or you know, taking trips all the time, I've done that before. I, in my, I think I had a very good young life. You know, I did that stuff. So how did I end up there? First thing that I did was pick something that motivated me. And it, it took a few twists and turns to get there. First, I was like many of you. I didn't really know exactly what I wanted to do. I knew that I wanted to be a writer. I knew that I wanted to create books and write stories, but I was limited on skill sets. I had the desire to be a writer, right? But I didn't have the ability nor the discipline. So I go along and say, okay, in the meantime, in between time, I got to do something. I got to do something to make some money. So I went ahead and I lied. Yes, lied. It's unethical, but I'll, I'll be honest about it. Uh, on monster.com, I created three different, five different resumes for jobs I knew I could do, but I did not have the experience or a reference. And then I created my own reference. So fast forward, create my own reference, got one job, use that job to leverage into another job. These were all high paying jobs that gave me skill sets that I still use to this day. And then I leveraged that into my own business first business that was making bread, GC Solutions. I was selling used office furniture. So I got fancy and I decided to sell new office furniture. Well, that didn't work out the way that I hoped. I made a lot of sales, but I did not make a lot of profit. That's why when people with the Amazon FBA screenshots, I'm like, so what if you made a million last year? What's your net profit? Because I did 1.45 and I only brought home like 35 grand because there were so many mistakes. There were overruns. Uh, I had a huge punch list, all kinds of things, right? Then I was like, the used furniture had great profit margins. How can I get more used furniture? And that's how I ended up at storage auctions. There was a path, and I'm going to pause here because there are many people who want to kind of skip over this discovery and exploration. If I had not taken a few shots with, hey, I want to be a writer, but that ain't paying the bills right now. Let me do this. I can do sales on the phone. I know I can. I, I know I can sell furniture. And I did that stuff, which set the foundation for me 
to go after my dream. So we'll fast forward again. So get back in the store and I'll start looking for you stuff because used office furniture had great profits. It was amazing. And so then I go ahead and I get into the storage units. Then I get into going out there and dealing with all these people that I thought were um, somewhat uneducated. I thought were somewhat easy to get around. Boy, did I learn a real lesson. Those guys were veterans and they pretty much handed me my ass. So after going through that baptism through power, I became really good at storage auctions because then I took the lessons from job one, job two, and the office furniture stuff, salesmanship, building processes, took all this information that I had learned from these companies that I started that fail. And all of a sudden I started applying this to this esoteric business that a lot of people didn't know about. I remember going to storage auctions. There'd be five of us there. There'd be 30 units. Nothing but money. Nothing but money. So I go through that, and I work very, very hard because I'm making money. I'm sustaining myself. Uh, I'm discovering all this wonderful stuff out of storage units, these storylines, meeting interesting people, having fun, making money. Then I get sick. My partner is diagnosed with stage four cancer. We out of business because... All the stuff I did with the upscale garage sale, I did not create buyers. So there was no one to run the business when we were both down. So we liquidated everything. I got a chunk of money in the bank. I was able to help my partner. Then from 2009 to the middle of 2010, I busted my ass creating this channel, creating this content, writing these books. See, I'm giving you all of the details that people don't want to give you. Then... The, sto the storage auction shows came on. So I went from two to 5,000 a month in sales to 30, 40, 50,000 a month in sales. And then I started adding courses and I started adding consultings and then my sales increased. And I got to a point where I was literally working 10 hours a week. And I was making what? Probably like 30 to 50,000 a week, chilling. I was able to be a good friend of my partner, take her to her doctor appointments, hang out, you know, reconnect with some people. And that's how I retired in a decade. It came from building a business. Many people do not seem to understand this concept. Now, let's talk about why this other stuff does not work as well as starting a business. Once again, 1999, I was homeless, going through a divorce, all kinds of crazy stuff in my life. And in a decade, I built enough one intellectual capital experience levels to create something that allowed me to retire. Um, I sold 15,000 books. There's courses. There's more money than that. But just on the book sales, book sales alone of the how to make money with storage unit auctions, A to Z, it was 1.5 million in sales. Just book sales of a PDF. And then I was selling books on Amazon. I was selling from my urbanpackrat.com, this rinky dink website I made myself. So the lesson here is if you know how to market, you can have a crappy website and make money. If you know how to sell, you can have a crappy website and make money. If you know how to market, you know how to sell, you can write a book with typos and make money. Uh, many people out here are looking for what I call perfect situations. Business ain't perfect, baby boy and baby girl. It ain't perfect at all. It ain't even close to perfect. And for those who are going to survive in the business world, you've got to learn how to rock and roll with hard times. You got to wake up and, oh, I didn't expect this crazy thing to happen. That is the life of a business owner. And many people are not built for it. Now, back to the retirement. You're better off starting a business, in my opinion, my opinion. And getting rich, because essentially you, you start a business, you create your own job, you get to six figures, possibly seven figures in income. You are rich. You are not wealthy because you don't have assets that make money. There's a big differential between being rich and wealthy. So when you have the ability to create your own job, create your own income, create your own economy, then you can start doing some amazing things and you can set your kids up. So for about Two and a half, three years, I was wealthy. I had an asset that made money whether I worked or not. That is wealth. 
if you are working, you're more likely to be rich. Being rich isn't bad. It's not bad at all. But just know what you're working with. Now, you got many people out here who are, man, that's kind of crazy. Um, the whole path to retiring early is this cram down of your lifestyle. Don't buy anything new. Don't have the cable packages. Now, I agree with that if you're poor. If you're poor in your building, yeah, you need to reduce your burn rate. But if you go ahead and create a product, a business, or service that serves people and make bread, you can, you can have that cable package. You can have Starbucks every day. You can drive that luxury car. You can do all that stuff and still retire early because here's the trick, and this is what we talk about in Hustle Camp. You've got to increase your income while also managing your money. Many people do this. They increase their income. This actually is on my Facebook page where this couple was making half a million a year as a couple and they were living paycheck to paycheck. That's just strictly ridiculous. Uh, they were losing like 185000 a year in taxes, start a small business, go ahead and get some of that money back, take the money at the four. I mean, literally, they were in a position where if they did the right things, they could have bought $100,000 to $150,000 rental property, cash money every year. 10 years, you you got net worth of over seven figures of property that's paid off. They're not thinking correctly, but they don't have a financial education. They're just doing a lot of silly stuff because if I went in there and redid their budget, I would get rid of a lot of stuff. Uh, another thing, if you're making 150 k a year and you, you have a car note for longer than a year, you stupid. You're just stupid. That makes no sense. Most cars are like under 35 grand. You could pay that off in a year if you just sit down and do it right. There is no excuse for you to be making a million or two a year and having car notes unless you have a business and you lease that car in the name of the business. I have to put that stipulation in there because someone will come up and come, yo, yo, Glennon, Glennon, but, 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 and you know, like for you who come in the comments and do that, you get a gold star because you're so special. You are so special, you and your useless information. Um, and that's the thing. Now, how do you do this? I just told you how to do it. You got to figure out what business works for you. One of the big problems that you have people um, making mistakes is, is they're getting into all of these businesses because, quote, they make bread, but they have no interest in it. Now, let's kind of go back. I wanted to be a writer. I wanted to be a communicator. I wanted to put out products, right? I wanted to, you know, entertain the world. I wanted my name to be written down in history as he wrote books. And I accomplished that. That was the overarching goal. But for me to get there, I had to provide a lot of service in many different areas, serve thousands and thousands of people for me to get to do my thing. And some people would go, message, if you want to do something, you know, and someone said, it, I don't know if it was Jim Rome or someone else, if you wanted to make a million dollars, help someone else make two or three or something like that. So it's all about service. It's all about that. Now, with this whole minimalist, and I, I kind of talked about it in the previous video, why so many internet gurus live in exotic locations, because they can't afford to live here. They can't live in a first world country. They can't live in the United States of America. They can't live in London. Like, if you know somebody that's online, that's a make money type person, and they're not living in America, or they're not living nice, you should be suspicious. You should be because if you can't make money for yourself, you got to move to one of these third world countries where you can ball out on a G a month because you can't make it here. How can you teach someone else to make it here? Once again, you watch the videos. You've seen my house. You see my offices. I actually have offices and there will be more. So I'm just putting it out there. Now, another thing is, you know, and this is what we talk about in Hustle Camp. If you're interested, the links and stuff below in the write-up is the foundation. Now, this, this is me in 2000. I had that foundation. When I got paid, my money went here, here, here. I put my money in certain accounts proportionally because I had to teach myself how to hold on to money. Because, see, when you're poor and your money just goes out like that, you become accustomed to not having money. It becomes your norm. You get like 
fifteen hundred dollar windfall out of nowhere. First thing you'll do is you're gonna take a trip, buy a TV or something like this, because you are not accustomed to holding on to money. It is not part of your mental makeup holding on to money. You just out there making money and spending it. Now, for those of you who are here, I'm, I'm gonna tell you what's dropping tomorrow. So let me go ahead and set that up because you're gonna love this. <laughs> All right, I don't need to do that. Hold on a second. Let me get in there. Here we go. Now this is going to, hold on a second, there we go. Now, this is kind of like a heads up. This drops tomorrow sometime, probably in the morning. Uh, essentially, trade line trickeration, the truth about business credit. And I'm gonna go deep here, so be sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed, because that's coming. And that's gonna be way fun, because I'm gonna give you some stuff no one else is gonna give you. Now, let me get into the chat room. Let's see who's here early this morning. Let's see, what do we got going on here? What's up, Diana, Gunji88? What's up, Pamela Simmons? Uh, good morning, everybody, Victoria. What's up, Derek? What's up, Brandon Smith? Uh, let's see, Lamont, I see this nice conversation going on. What's up, King? Super Saiya, what's going on? Uh, Matthew Kim, what's your thoughts on hiring the VA? Don't do it. Charlie Holiday, good morning. And I'm going to get to that in a minute why you shouldn't do it. Elite Carnage, good morning, everyone in the room. What's up, Everyday Sadie? What's up, Brandon? Gary Green, appreciate you. Appreciate you back. Thanks for being here. Booger Benjamin Harrow, <laughs> good morning, man. What's up, Rugged Collars? <clears throat> You're one of the few that tells the whole story. <laughs> I mean, a lot of people leave stuff out. Uh, Creative Quality LLC, good morning. Let's see. Uh, Aunt Jones, start off with something you know. Sylvia, good morning. Cartel 07, I'm back. What's up? Good to Lisa Stead, everyday say it, it kind of depends. There's a lot of variables to that. Do you believe that digital marketing is a good career? Yes, I am a digital marketer. Yes, it is a great career. Uh, let's see. What's going on? Uh, let's see. Uh, hold on. What's up, Chris Monroe? What's up, Cartel? Uh, you need to hustle, Cartel. Armento, what's up? Reginald, what's going on? DA, what's going on? Tiger Shark, hello. Leonardo, what's up? Anthony, good morning. I like how you think. Tons of common sense here. Welcome to the channel. Shane, what's going on? Juan, what's up? T King, what's up? <laughs> good morning, Stan. Ryan, what's up? What's up? And Art. Uh, what's up, Glennon? Is the business credit billing course development for, on the payment plan? Okay, I'm, I'm going to tell that real quick. Here's what I'm going to do. And going back to what Rugged College just said about telling you everything. I know what you need to do to be successful. And my goal, my fiduciary responsibility is to give you what you need, not what you want. So you, the only way you can get the business credit thing is to go through Hustle Camp. So there is a payment plan. It's actually below the video or the stream. It's 200 bucks a month. Well, it's 200 bucks every two weeks. It's going to be 1200 bucks for you to get in. Also, you want to get on the email list because good stuff goes down there too. Uh, let's see. Good morning, Sherry. All right, Pauline. Let's see, where are we with this? All right, so I'm going to, um, I was going to touch on to, Hold on a second. Let me get back up here. Digital marketing. I think I was going, uh, let me touch on that. Digital marketing is not ever going anywhere. That is the new world that we're in. Uh, digital marketing is going to be the TV, radio, whatever. And there are so many different ways to get into digital marketing. YouTube is digital marketing. Facebook is digital marketing. All this stuff is digital marketing, right? And what are we at there? So definitely a good thing to get into. Uh, let's see. Let me go make sure it's down there. 
T King with Hustle Camp includes details on how I could create. Yes. One of the things I'm doing in Hustle Camp is, and this is actually I can kind of show you because I will be creating a stage three today. Let's get in there. This uh hold on. <laughs> this is crazy. Because I got the camera there, so I gotta look around the camera. All right. So we got, you know. LLC preparation, getting a business address, you know, all this stuff is very important. So what I've done is I've blended the credit and the LLC stuff together because let's say you go ahead and you create an LLC and you don't follow these steps. You could impede your business credit um, efforts. So all that's going to be together because one of the things is what we're going to do concurrently, if you watch Core TV, you know what that means. What we're going to do concurrently is work on your personal credit, work on your budgeting, work on the LLC, and then after we've created that foundation, work on you making more money. Because, see, if you don't manage the money you have right now, you're just going to jack up more money. That is just human nature. That's just who we are as people. And until you learn better you and know better, you're not going to do better. So my thing is, if I'm going to be part of the solution, I'm going to do it the right way, which some people don't agree with, which is fine, which is well. And they just won't buy Hustle Camp. That's cool because I'm creating it to make you not successful for the next six months. I am creating it to make you successful for the next six decades. Because once you get this information and you learn it the right way and you deploy, your life will get better in every area. But it's going to be hard. It's going to take time. It's not going to be overnight. Uh, let's see. King Sal, not on this stream. Um, I, I, I haven't had a chance to get to that. I'm trying to keep this with the retire early topic. What's up, Marquis? Uh, person, I love SEO. Brandon Smith, I run a bakery catering service business, LLC to be exact. I think I'm finding that contracts with small businesses would develop your best source of residual revenue through thoughts on more revenue. Okay, you're in the bakery business. You know more about that than I do. What you got to do is take your bakery business apart and like what part of my bakery business makes the most money. And I'll tell you a story that I helped a friend with a restaurant. I used to live in East Lake Atlanta and my friend, and you can actually go check it out. It's a great restaurant. It's called uh, Le Petit Marche. It's in Kirkwood. I used to live around the corner and they opened up and it was home cooking, home cooked food. I mean, it was Marche, her dad, her mom, her mom was making the best cakes and they would open and they would open for evening and they would be like, I would go in there and there'd be like nobody in there. And I said, one day I was there because they were trying all kinds of stuff and they had like some breakfast food. I said, you guys need to do breakfast all day long. And they listened to me. Blew up. And now they close at like three or four o'clock. So they do breakfast and lunch and they're closed because the neighborhood, it doesn't work to have because where it is, it's the only thing. So there's not like bars and things where a lot of people would naturally congregate. If you ever notice that all the bars and stuff tend to be close to each other because they feed off each other's traffic, right? So you got to dig into your business and figure out what's going to work for you. Uh, M. James, y'all going to get something different because y'all didn't sign up for Hustle Camp. Uh, also, and I've said this about 50 times. Don't contact me, contact Patty, because then Patty's got to look at, because I had a person who was doing that, they're sending me all kinds of messages, and we found out they didn't even buy anything. They were one of the free people. So contact Patty, and she will help you out. And someone actually told you that. Here's something else, too. And I'm, I'm going to be really aggressive here. I run a business. I got a lot of consulting. I don't have time to sit there and talk to each one of you like we, we boys on the corner. And I have to say that because so many people come at me like, hey, Glendon, uh, you know, I hit you up on Facebook. You never got back to me. Like, you know, I'm lo your long lost girlfriend or something. So go through the proper channels. You're going to get better answers. Uh, let's see. Sean needs to pumpkin patch it. What is that? AKW Beats, what's up? Could you talk real quick about trust and how they work? No, this conversation is about how to retire early and live rich now. Uh, Stephen Wilson, good golf, <laughs> nearest golf courses to East Lake. Man, that used to be hell when they came and had the PGA. 
are Tamento, what are your thoughts on Airbnb for side hustles? Do it. What do you think about leasing a car? Once again, it depends. Now, back to this whole thing with the courses and stuff. One of the things that I've done and no one else has done and it's putting me in the quandary is I've been so generous. I have people who expect to get new information when they pay for some two, three, four years ago. Um, it ain't happening. It ain't happening. I will fulfill my promises, but I'm doing something new. I am no longer bringing folks up, giving crazy value because I learned a lesson. I tested this. Many people in the net marketing world give value, give to the hurts, right? I gave courses that make people money, got your child support case dismissed, and all I got was a jacked up email list. That is not true. So I ain't doing that no more. Uh, Sylvia, on the point with your reply, stick it to the, yeah, because what happens is you got to understand how YouTube works. I'm here talking about how to retire early, what I did to retire early, and then we can go off on this side tangent, and then someone who comes a year later is going to be like, what is this about? And they're not going to watch it. So this is one of the things about me being generous and hurting myself. I go ahead and create this content, then start answering all these questions, and next thing you know, we're talking about trucking, we're talking about this, and then the stream is completely diluted, and then I lose out future value. I'm not doing that anymore. T. King, you need to stop cracking me up. <laughs> I mean, seriously, because here's the thing. Um, the reason I did the, the stream last night about why so many of these guys live on the beach in exotic locations is true. They can't live here. They can't live in London. They can't live in Sydney. They don't make enough money. But, you know, here I am. You know, I'm doing my live stream on the beach. You know, I'm here. I'm having this nice fish. It looks exotic. It looks great. It looks wonderful. But the thing is, they can't make real bread. And I, I have people comparing me to those fools, and I get irritated. I get all cranky because we ain't the same. And I have to, you know, I know I'll lose some people by being this forceful, and that's cool, because I need to lose people who are not respecting my hustle. I made $1.5 million plus from my basement. And people are like, ah, I can do that because I'm just like Glendon. No, you can't. You don't have that kind of talent. But if you got in hustle camp, you paid attention, you may not make 1.5 million, you might make more, but in time, you will have the ability to make six figures, which could set your kids up to be millionaires and billionaires. Because the way this thing works is just coming from nothing now, I mean, it's, it's weird. It's really, really strange because we have technology, we have the internet, but the same people are winning. You got some people who can break through, but the reality is the same people are winning. The folks who are already rich, take YouTube. The early YouTubers were little well-off kids. How many parents had the wherewithal to give their kid a $500 to $1,000 camera to play around with? Go ahead, look at the early YouTube videos. They always had nice houses, they're on the trampoline, they're in the pool. These are kids of wealth and privilege, and they blew up first on YouTube. So it, it gets to be interesting. Shane Cole signed up for Hustle Camp weeks ago. Thanks in advance for making me be there. You signed up weeks ago. You came in on the Lolo. Sylvia, yes, I understand. You're totally following what you're saying. Totally. On um, the VA question, this is why you shouldn't answer to become a VA. When you hire people, hiring and managing people is a pull on resources. So if you don't have processes in place, you don't have a training program, essentially, you're going to work twice as hard with a VA because these things are not set up. So as you're working on your business, you need to ask yourself, what can I give to someone else that I don't want to do and start creating a training program and a manual now? So that's why you shouldn't just go out and hire a VA. Uh, I got a course on business credit that I'm doing, Andre. What's up, Reginald? Dan, I told him, two years ago, money off the table, new content, new money. Pretty much. Silva, you are very unique in the way that you present your hustle and camp information. Very refreshing and real. Because here's, here's the thing. A lot of this stuff online is not going to make you money. Because I'm going to tell you a little secret in it from the internet marketing world. Those of us who've been in it a while know this, that 75% of the people who take a course will not finish it. Same people of 75% who buy a book will not read it. So you really don't have to create a bump in course to make money. Once again, <laughs> I'm just letting out secrets because folks who know, 
How many times have you seen the review? Hey, I just signed up for uh, Internet Guru Shaggy 897, and right now the, the graphics are great. It's wonderful. I, I just can't wait to really dive in. Okay, so they're giving a positive review and haven't taken the course. You see that all the time. <laughs> and then people buy it, and they'll, they'll sign up, and they'll take it, and then they'll forget the course. They'll forget their logins. And so that's one of the things that's just wow. Uh, Nilla being just keep it real. Most people don't understand the pains of being in business, and you really can't make them understand unless they experience it. That's pretty true. Uh, King side. Yeah, and that's one of the reasons that you want to, at a minimum, and I think it is your duty as a parent to make sure that your kids don't have to go what you do. Because you hear all this stuff with Warren Buffett and Bill Gates not leaving their kids money. Uh, that, that, that's crap. They, they're, they're leaving their kids a legacy. They're leaving them money. They're just telling the public that so folks don't attack their kids. They love those kids. That's just crazy. Uh, Reginald, uh, let's see, spoiled kids. Not really. Uh, I've dated a few trust fund babies. They're not all spoiled. Uh, some of them are really good people. Let's see. No, nope, we're not talking about YouTube. We're talking about how to retire early and live rich. And have Starbucks every day. Step-by-step uh, -step configuration is very important. Yeah, because the whole thing is, let's say I just went ahead, and this is something I've been trying to do for like three years. Let's just say I forget the foundation stuff and just give you these upper-level topics, right? Knowing that you're going to run into trouble. That really is not the way to do it. I could go like, well, you know, they should be big girls and big boys, right? And they should not. No, 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 no. Uh, one of the things I do is I keep several businesses going on so I can live my life the way that I want to live my life and I can present my content and courses the way that I want to. Let's see. Uh, what's up, Abel? Uh, Ray Cunningham just started watching your videos. So they're on Shopify. Thanks from the UK. Welcome to the UK. No, I don't really do Shopify. This is one of the things. Anything that you see me teach or talk about that isn't a rant, I am currently doing or have done. I, you know, I've got some stop Shopify stuff going on. And just to save you some trouble, Shopify is a tool. That's it. You, you, if you, your big thing is you should be looking for marketing courses on how to develop traffic. Because once again, going back to what I said earlier with my rinky dink urban pack rat, you can go to the Wayback Time Machine and look up urbanpackrat.com. There was none special about that site. At the Zenith, I was getting 250,000 hits a month. Do the, I mean, do the conversion rates, man. So, yeah, don't market. Learn how to market because Shopify as a platform is very simple. Everett Lewis, no, I haven't taken that. Do you think all personality types are capable of being successful entrepreneurs? Yes. Here's the real secret to success. You have to want it bad enough to actually take action. Just do it. It's kind of simple, but it's really on point with that. You have to take action. If you are introvert, but you can take action, you go make money. If you're an extrovert, you can take action and manage yourself. You're going to make money, whatever that other stuff is. Let's see. Uh, sharp Nigerian has BS a moment that's 100% accurate. As a sharp Nigerian, I approve Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> Make me some money. You're funny. Uh, let's see. Go back to Brandon. Do you think it, there is potential to retire early doing a nut? Uh, once again, Brandon, I don't do nonprofits. I don't know how that works with nonprofits, so I can't speak on that. Let's see. Oddly enough, nonprofits are a fantastic way to make money. Um, Brandon, you and Nilla Bean hook up. Because I know nothing about nonprofits. Jen Sweto, yep, I ran a challenge. People paid and fell off at day three. I was going to refund, but I was like, this hustle camp, bitch. No. <laughs> you didn't do the work to give away money and people didn't want to win. <laughs> what do you think about offering video services as a hustle? Uh, weddings, marketing, uh, wedding photographers do it every day. Uh, let's see, that's funny. Sean Palmer, what are some of the things you can do to scale up? Sell more, sell faster. If I can tell you one thing that you can do in any business is if you could put 80 to 90% of your time into selling and marketing, your business will grow crazy. 
This is what most folks do, and this is why a lot of folks cannot retire early. They put 80% of their time into non-cash generating activities and wonder why they're struggling. If you wanted to sell the stapler, right? If you had the discipline to go knock on doors and say, look, I'm selling this staple, stapler for five bucks. I'm just using this as an example. If you knocked on enough doors, someone would buy this stapler for you. It might be 100 doors. It may be two doors. It may be three. It's just encountering people who have that need. So sales and marketing. Once again, my website was booty. It, it wasn't the best website. My first book had typos. I had people reaming me in the comments. Um, you go to Amazon, you see stuff in there, and then you, you then there's hate stuff about me. And then and people are like, yeah, I don't like Glennon, but his storage office stuff is on point. Respect. So you can sell and market your way out of just about anything. Uh, King, you now nah, you didn't email her because she would have responded. Uh, there's a lot of people in the stream, so either you didn't give her the information or some. Uh, email Patty. All right, I'm gonna go a little deep here on the on the child support thing. If you're already paying, and you might have you might be screwed, because my situation was we had an agreement for joint parenting, which she breached and left the state. And then immediately file for child support, and I got that shit dismissed. So there's a lot to it, and I'm probably going to add some more to it. So you could take advantage of the special. Send Patty $150, and in the comments, tell her you want the child support course, and she will hook you up and send you the logins. Sure thing, Ray. Mike Curry, thank you. You're right. Shopify is only a tool. You can use any e-commerce platform to make money, but like you said, you have to learn how to market. It's all about that traffic. That's what the thing, and the traffic part is hard, and that's why everyone's just like, hey, I'm going to create a Shopify store, and boom, I'm going to make money. No, that is not how it's going to go. Let's see. I received an invitation to join a free course in digital marketing, and within two days into the course, I received an email stating that you can help me get a job once I finish free course. Um, I don't know about that. That, that ain't me. I, I have no clue. I have a policy. Unless I've taken the course or something, I don't even comment on it. Uh, trust your source. Do you have any eBooks on driving traffic to your site? No. Uh, how I drive traffic and here it is. This is how this is responsible. This YouTube channel in some shape, fashion is responsible for every dollar that I make. This is how I drive traffic. What you can do is pick maybe Instagram, Facebook, one of these platforms and become real good at that platform. You don't have to be good at all of them. There are people that's like, hey, you got to be here. He, I, I know people, like I said, I talked about last night. I didn't go to Meerkat. I'm not on Periscope because what happens is you get all of these people. They're going to these new platforms and they're saying the same thing. And I mean, like Casey Neilstadt, you can tell when someone does a vlog that's like him because they're biting his style. Me, there's just some in me that's like, I'm not doing what someone else is doing. I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm just ignorant like that. Uh, no, Daniel, I've not heard of that. Sean Stewart, how do you spread yourself out and still be able to manage your business effectively? I was always told to focus on one. Good question, Sean. I have a team. It ain't just me. Once again, there's Patty, there's Valencia, there's Belinda. Um, there's uh, two other people who kind of work like on contract, but it ain't just me. See, that's the thing. And that's why I get so irritated when people are like, oh, you're just like so-and-so. No, I'm not. They don't have a team. They don't have offices. They don't have a track record. They don't have, you can Google me and go all the way back to 2009 and find information about me on the internet. A lot of these people, you can't find a high school picture. So that's why I get all irritated. Aunt James, an IRA is not a good start. An IRA, a 401k, these were investment products that were supposed to be a leg of a three-legged stool. Social Security, pension, and IRA. So, no. Yeah, the, the whole thing is, and they're wearing it out. Um, they're going to wear out all these good niches and stuff. It's going to be crazy. Mike Page, the door-to-door -door selling meat. Don't skip doors. Dude, if you can sell meat, you can sell anything. Uh, Charday, be different. 
Reginald, traffic sales, data, and conversions are what I think will matter when looking at early retirement. Your thought? 100%, because let's go back to that. 1999, I was, I was homeless. 2010, I was making more money than I knew what to do with. It was a decade. And one of the things is I didn't really keep up with it the way that I should have because I was just living life. I didn't realize it was a blueprint because let's say you're broke Dick Danny right now or a penniless Priscilla. And today, which is September 14th, you write out some goals. And for the next 10 years, you pick some because the thing is, I've kind of moved around because I was the storage auction guy, but I knew that that was not going to last forever. And I made a pivot and it took me a while to find the right pivot because right now what I'm doing, it feels really good because when I make the thumbnails, I'll, the message is me. The message is how I live my life. The message is what I did. So it's very congruent. And this is going to be a long-term thing because I can tell you the next 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 100, oh, whatever, until I get hustle camp done, they're going to be about hustle camp and they're going to be about wealth building. They're going to be about business credit. They're all going to be all these things that I had to go through to get here. And then we're going to get with bats. <laughs> Because essentially, I don't tell everyone this, but just anyone that buys Hustle Camp now will get the advanced training courses that are going to come after Hustle Camp. Once again, I am not going to give you Algebra 2 before I give you Algebra 1. Algebra 1, Algebra 2, Calculus. That's how we're going to roll. And it's best to get in now because some people are going to be salty. Sure thing, Sean. Uh Oh, yes, they want to charge me 100 a month to actually have a job offer, then the course is not free. Oh, that's crazy. That is really crazy. I'm uh, just curious, besides YouTube and the camp and, the, and Hustle Camp, what industry or the other businesses that you own are involved in? I actually have a physical product business I tell nobody about because I'm still developing it. But right now, let's see. Let's go. The AdSense has gone up, and there's some people will come in like, hey, man, there are ads on the YouTube video. Here's some that if you are a YouTuber, you need to know. YouTube, they will not admit it, but they push your video faster and further if it has ads on it, if it does not. <laughs> this, this just happened. This, they keep messing with the algorithm, but I, I will, matter of fact, you know what? I'll, I'll show you because uh, let's see. Can I? Yeah, I don't need to keep that. Let me go into that. I'm going to just show you some because this new algorithm is uh, crazy wicked. I mean, it is um, it's insane, really. So let's go into the analytics. And I'm going to explain some stuff to you. All right, so let's go here. All right. So this is this month, right? This is <laughs> this is the new algorithm working. Uh, that's going up. Uh, and see, you'll see a lot of people who will say, hey, this is how much money I made with YouTube. But you notice they never tell you some. Essentially, you can have one to five videos that make up 80 to 90 percent of your AdSense money. And I'll actually show you the one that's making most of this money. Uh, click on here. Uh, it's going to be this one. So you see where it's, and it's just, I don't know what it's going to do because I don't know how that video is going to continue to perform. But that one video accounted for almost half my AdSense money this month. And this has been, through. this is normal. So, you know, the, just for the folks who are talking about ads and stuff, YouTube will push a video that has ads on it way faster and much harder than they will with a video that does not. Just be facts. Just the reality of it. But I'm on their platform. So when you're in Rome, you need to speak Italian. Uh, let's see. So there's the YouTube money. Oh, uh, I get money from Amazon still. I still get money from, let's see, consulting, YouTube, hustle camp, passive sales from the courses. So yeah. And then, like I said, the physical product business, we're still working on that. And here's something else, too, and I'm going to be 100% real with you. There's another business I'm working on. I got the business plan, and I'm probably once I free up some more time, I'm going to do it. I will probably build some business, and I'll never tell you all about it. 
because one of the things I have learned, and this happened to a guy named Sebastian. He was a shop of our guy. He was really nice and young and full of energy and enthusiasm. He was helping people. And while he was helping people, he mistakenly showed what he was doing. And within 12 hours, someone copied his whole site, got his products, and were buying his keywords. And it took, it said it took him a week to get his store back. Now think about that. Here he is. I'm trying to help you. Someone went in and he emailed me. And the guy I was like, hey, man, this is a beat. This is jungle out here. Thanks for the help. No love, no money. He just straight hijacked his information and competed against him. That's what people do. Uh, sub Glenn, is it possible to acquire a DBA months later at the end? Question, why do you want to do a DBA? Uh, I use ADP. Everybody gets, everybody has a, a salary. Nilla Bean. Dimitri Alice. I'm not, I'm not in a boarding house, but in a similar situation, every time you speak or you come up, you help me. I try to catch your live feeds every time you come on, learning how to execute. I mean, the real big thing is let's go back to the thing that got me out, right? I executed. I, I, I even get deep. It was called Scheme Incorporated. I had like notes and stuff and stuff taped to the wall. And I was like, I had, I treated it like a project because the last time I got laid off, I was just numb. I was really, really numb. I was just like, I can't go through this no more. Dude say, like, oh, you can stay here another two weeks. I said, nah, I'll leave now. It was just going to be the same thing. And I went home and I started to think. And I had been listening to Earl Nightingale. And at that, it, it's just that information started to seep in and the dots started connecting. I was like, I need to execute. So I went home created all these resumes and applied like crazy to these upper level jobs. And I got one and then I had a plan. I had no intention of staying there like three, four years. No, no, no. It's like get in here, network, figure out what I can do and get the hell on. That was the plan, man. Frankie, what's going on? Sure thing, Steve. Uh, Russian hacker, what's the difference between 30 days Oh, I changed all the prices last night for you folks who were waiting because I get sick of these questions because, see, here's the thing. You should not be worrying about the price because here's the deal. Let's say you bought 30 days at 1500 and you execute it. You would make that 1500 back in a 30 days to 60 days. Then all of the money you make afterwards is free because here's the thing. There are people who bought 30 days to uh, 2500 who are still making money off that course to this day. So you spend 1500 and like three years later, you have a gross accumulative, you know, gross profit of $40,000, 1500 bucks ain't nothing. Uh, I raised the prices everything because I'm getting tired of these. Let me shop for the lowest price. You're coming in with the wrong attitude. You should be like, I am a tiger. I am fearless. I'm going to make this bread. That's your attitude. If you're coming in there like, hey, I'm trying to get the best price. I, like I said, I raised everything to 300 bucks. If you want to get something, you need to go below the video. Uh, no, go to the front of the channel page, and there's a donation button. Send Patty $150 and say you want 30 days to 2500 and get it today because at 9 p.m. Eastern and Pacific time, I'm ending that because now that i am got a system going and I'm about to start rolling out training, and all this stuff's just going to go up in price. So wait until it go down because one of the reasons I'm able to do this and one of the reasons I'm able to speak so bold is – I don't rest on my laurels. Yeah, I wrote a book and I did 1.5 million off that book and I sold these courses and since I've been on YouTube, this channel's made 6 million. So what? I'm still alive. I still got to do stuff. So what? I'm not impressed with that and you shouldn't be because I'm like, okay, if I knew what I was doing, I could have made 20 million. I didn't know what I was doing. I've said this how many times. Even when you don't know what you're doing, if you execute, you still make more money than when you don't execute. So I feel like I left 14 million on the table. The next version, I'm trying to get that 14 million plus whatever else. So stop thinking of the low, low and start thinking, how can I get the most out of my life? Yes, I would be very preachy going forward. And uh, one of the things that I do, because uh, I will just keep raising the price. So a lot of y'all gonna be like, damn, why didn't I buy when I should have bought? All right. Uh, Having a mentor the same as copying somebody, big difference. A lot of people just copy people. Sure thing, Sade. Eh? 
Ben the bartender, if you copy someone's strategy, you'd be still using your own knowledge base. Uh, here's the thing with um, the, the, the Casey Neistat thing. Everyone's biting his style because, you know, the reason he started doing YouTube videos was to improve his editing and creativity, which he did. But you're, you're doing his thing, and what happens is if you see his style here, you see it there, 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 it becomes pedestrian. And it doesn't, it's no longer special. So it creates a problem. Jen, document my grind? No, don't document your grind. Start selling. Start selling. Once again, 2009, Glennon coming out of the store trucking business. I didn't know how to do YouTube. I didn't know how to write a book. I didn't know how to create a website. I didn't know how to do any of this stuff. So I started learning and selling, learning and selling. And I got a lot of heat. I got a lot of hate. But who's laughing now? No, sell, 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 document later. <laughs> sell, sell. Sure thing, Pressure 1982. What's up, Sean? I'll see you back. Victoria. What's interesting, Victoria? Uh, Reginald. Now, you just go back to 2010, because like I said, I, I let that domain go years ago. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What's, let me move that. I think I got rid of that. Oh, hold on. If I ever do another screen share, that's gone. Ben the Bartow loved that guy. He tried. They tried to steal his stuff, and all he did was provide value. Joshua, could they, Kardashians are doing the same thing to Rihanna. Could be. I don't even keep up with that stuff. Uh, people want to be carbon copies, can't come up with their own stuff. Whack. Pretty much. Charlton, I love your focus. <laughs> what are the key points about retiring early? Start a business. Starting a business, a successful business, let's qualify it, is the fastest way you can get enough money to retire early. This whole stuff about not drinking coffee, uh, not spending money, and living like a street urchin, that is not very enticing to me, and it shouldn't be enticing to you. Here's the thing. When I was in the storage auction business, there was points I was living on 50 spend my income. This is why I come to you with this stuff. If you make a high income, let's say you're doing 300000 and you're living on 30% of your income, so that's like 90, right? You could pay your taxes and still bank 90000 for investment. Think about that versus... You're making 50 because what happens is you cram down your ambition. All right, I want to retire at 40, so I need to get my 2.5 million wherever, and I pull off 3%. So you're living this life of lack. So retire early to do what? Why about, what about this? How about this? Build a business that you love. Start providing service, helping people every day, make crazy money. So when you go to work, you don't feel like you're working. How about that? Because this whole notion of I just want to retire so I can sit down and do nothing but play video games, that is crazy to me. Uh, one shouldn't start at a job more than 10 years. No, you shouldn't even stay there that long. Because here's the thing. If you're willing to learn how to sell, because Commission sales, someone that talked about selling meat, teaches you how to run your business. A business owner don't make money until the business makes money, right? Until they sell something or provide the service. It's like commission sales. Until you actually sell something, or you make no money. That's commission sales. And a lot of people, oh, I don't want to do commission sales, but you want to run a business. <laughs> it's the same thing. Let's go back. Uh, what do you think about wholesaling real estate? Don't do it. Don't know anything about it. Hold this. Uh, Charlton, 50K this year so far from doing much wrong. Because here's the thing. All right, let's take Craigslist. I know stuff about Craigslist very few people know because I spend a lot of time there writing ads every day for years and years and years and people like oh you can't do stuff with craigslist like i had a friend who had a house full of stuff that didn't want i said oh, i can get rid of that for you an hour and he's like really went to craigslist free section Psh, folks are lined up he's like how the 
Craigslist? Really? They act like I'm like, people just don't know because they get this topical information. And then the next thing you know, they're like, uh, hmm. It ain't, I'm not going to try it. Jen, 30 days to 2,500. Legit. Thank you. What's up, B. Rambus? What's up, Reginald? Uh, Frankie Guns, here's my thing. Uh, go ahead and start with the $25 hustle. But see, here's the thing. It will do nothing good for you until you execute. That's just the reality. You're going to have to do some stuff you probably don't want to do. Uh, let's see. Miss Mrs. Barry. I sell outfits and shoes, B2B, and strip clubs. I'm considering a store, but the cost of overhead is nerve-wracking. Miss Barry, do not open up a store. What you need to do is continue doing what you're doing and get yourself some help and some affiliates to go to other clubs. While you're in one club, you got folks selling stuff in two or three other clubs. Do not open up a physical store. Don't do it. Open up a warehouse. Uh, get your Instagram game going on, but don't open up a physical store. Not for that. Don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Timmy P. I'm trying to build a business credit with a very new business. Can you recommend a good starter company that would? No. Take Hustle Camp. We'll talk about that because. Uh, Here's the thing. Way back when, you could start an LLC, get an EIN, get a Paydex in like 90 days, and literally go to Ford Fleet and get a truck and get a unsecured, no PG credit card. Those days are over. This recession, I'm telling you, the Patriot Act, what the banking is going through, they're going to go off of your one of the officers of the LLC at FICO score, it may not that card or may not go on your personal credit report, but they're gonna they're gonna hit you. They're gonna they're you're gonna get a hard hit. You're gonna get a hard inquiry, man. Join Hustle Camp. Links below. If you cannot afford it, because it's uh eleven, it's ten ninety nine. Get it ten ninety nine. But you can do the payment plan, which is two hundred dollars every two weeks. And one of the reasons it's like that is. I'm preparing you to hustle. I'm preparing you to put forth. I don't want you to max out your credit card. I don't want you to take a loan from anybody. I want you to earn the money because you're going to be earning your success. You see what I did there? Did you catch it? Uh, let's see. What helped you the most with sales and marketing books? Nope. Selling. <laughs> selling. <laughs> Getting on the phone, cold calling. A book is only going to provide you a guide. You, you're going to have to... You got to do that. You got to sell. That's what helped me the most. Uh, my advice, don't open the store, Miss Barry. What's up, Zola? Uh, I have to speak up here. G showed up every day, 2013, 14 with free courses. Yeah, I'm not doing that anymore. Reginald, selling is easy for me when it's when it's product selling information. OK, let's talk about the whole thing of selling information. Let's go back through what I did. 1999, living in the boarding house. Uh, 2010, a decade later, I'm selling information. Let's talk about that decade in between the, the bad situation and the good situation. Here's my advice to those of you who want to sell information. Whatever you want to sell becomes so good that you can do the stuff in your sleep. I can still do storage auctions. Oddly enough, I can still do eBay at a high level because I did it. Go out and get the experience for two years, six months to two years. Say, say it's a new industry, six months is good. Or if you really cram that, get the experience before you can sell information. Because the stuff that I sell information, the Craigslist, all the things I talk about, I can still do very, very well at high level. So you want to get your experience level at a high level because one of the reasons that you have a hard time selling information is you don't have a very deep understanding of what you're doing. And do not look at these 15 to 25 year old kids on social media because they live with mom and dad, they don't have any bills, they got all day to work on their business. You, that ain't you. If you're a grown person, you are fully expected to pay some bills. If you're married, you can't be talking about, hey, babe, could you hold down the house while I do this social media thing? Mm -mm, ain't happening. So, you're know saying, Jen Swallow, 30 days to 2,500 saved my ass when I moved out of my mom's house and I thought I was grown. Those adult bills killed me. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> uh, Victoria, when you mentioned sales, it reminds me of a three person business I met. One person was operations and sales, one accounting, and the other was a designer, but sales is essential. Going back to the upscale garage sale, my job was sales, marketing, and logistics and sourcing. My partner did the accounting, the, the managed the eBay, managed the Amazon, and the employees. I never did it alone. That was another thing that a lot of people was like, talk about. I don't know, Cartel. <laughs> I don't know, man. You got to go find a job. What's up, Catherine? Uh, barely have any cash. 19, my parents want me out the house. Dude, you, uh, I'm going I'm to just say something here. I don't know you, but I have a feeling you have a bit of an attitude, and you need to be humble if you want to stay up in your parents' house. Or you can go out and just start hustling and get out. I mean, that's what it is. Uh, D Coleman show CEO Coleman and associate. Wow. You got anything in there, man. Glennon, thanks to you. I'm more focused on my business. Yeah. A lot of people don't respect their business and wonder why their business doesn't respect their money. I mean, this is real serious. This is why I get to with the cranky hustler and all this other stuff that I do and talk about, because when I hear this, you know, cause when that dude said your competitors, I don't have any competitors. I can create my own products. I can sell physical products. I can teach people how to sell stuff. I have all, I don't have any competitors. I have none because one of the things that is, and if you know this, I don't really affiliate with certain people. I think there's certain people full of crap and there's no, you know, I'm not going to come out here and go like, Hey, this person, this person, because I got too much time. I don't have enough time to do that stuff, but I'm not working with them. I, I was explaining to someone how the hustle porn thing works because some of these guys, they make, 150, 250,000, and they flex with these rentals. The rented Ferrari, the rented house. I'm not talking about Ty Lopez. Ty Lopez rented house is 15 G's a month. That's 185,000 a year. He's been on rent what most will buy a house for most people. So he, he's run the whole different game. What's up, Archangel 3579? Let's see, because I have a feeling this has gone way. Oh, okay. My inner clock is working. All right. So for those of you, who want to retire early and get a blueprint and a format, go below and you can either buy into Hustle Camp today and you'll get the business credit, the LLC, all this stuff. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to go really, really deep because one of the things that happens is when you start to do these, you know, creating entities, that's what an LLC is. It's an entity. It's almost like a person. The EIN is like a social security. There's certain steps you have to take. And if you don't take these steps, it ain't going to work. You're not going to get the benefits you could get. So. I've merged personal credit, business credit, and the LLC because of certain things. Because um, some fool was on the comment the other day and talking about he was a money manager and he knew about credit. Well, see, money managers deal with equities, they're in trading and stocks. You know the people who know how credit works? They're called underwriters, commercial underwriters. So I was just like, I knew he was full of it. And that's another thing. You'll learn the language because if you do a loan app and you get turned down, you know, there's some called a recon and you can get to an underwriter who can manually look at your app and approve it. If you're like borderline, all kinds of stuff we'll talk about. So go below. Once again, it's the link. You can do the payment prepayment plan. And let me explain the prepayment plan. Prepayment is you do not get access to the course until you pay in full. And I'm doing this because this teaches you delayed gratification because that will be part of the core and arc of hustle camp. You're, you're, you're going to have to work hard. And my message is blunt and it's vigorous because I don't want the people going like, hey, I'm going to jump in hustle camp. I'm going to come up. I don't want you. If you think like that, I don't want you anywhere in the hustle camp. I want people who are looking at, yeah, my life isn't where I want it to be today. But two years from now, three years from now, five years from now, six years from now, uh, the video, you want to be a millionaire in five years? Go to Houston. I hey, one of the biggest questions, how can I make that money and not go to Houston? Just like, dude, you can't. You got to be there. Put some skin in the game. So links below. Be sure to get that. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do so. All right. So with that, I will bounce and catch you guys later.